This research has something in it for everybody. Even if you're adamant against the use of caffeine or have conditions which restrict the use of caffeine, the timing of the day in which to maximize fat burning is one of the outcomes of this particular research. Surprisingly, for example, myself, I thought more so towards the morning would be more beneficial to that end. But no, au contraire, late afternoon, maximized fat burning in the current study we're about to look at. So let us proceed as follows. A strong coffee half an hour before exercise increases fat burning. Scientists from the Department of Physiology of the University of Granada have shown that caffeine at about 3 milligrams a kilogram, the equivalent of a strong coffee ingested half an hour before aerobic exercise significantly increases the rate of fat burning. They also found that if exercise performed in the afternoon, the effects of the caffeine are more marked than in the morning. Now, the caveat to that is this. If exercise was performed in the afternoon, it actually performed the individuals consuming caffeine in the morning. We'll look at that box and whisker plot in a second, but to proceed as follows. A total of 15 men, mean age 32, participated in the research, completing an exercise test four times at seven day intervals. Subjects ingested three milligrams, a kilogram of caffeine or placebo at 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Each subject completed the test in all four conditions in a random order. The conditions prior to each exercise test, hours elapsed since last meal, physical exercise or consumption of stimulant substances were strictly standardized and fat oxidation during exercise was calculated accordingly. Now, we're going to look at the chart per se right off the bat here. What I did is I drew a red line through the mean of the box of whisker plot on the 5 p.m. side. Now, if you notice that, that's the placebo. But that's for the individuals which have a difficult time with caffeine or uh, are reluctant to utilize caffeine. If you notice that 5 p.m. time, the maximum fat burning or oxidation was even greater than those that took caffeine in the morning. However, though, for those that must exercise in the morning, that caffeine definitely outperformed the placebo. And to maximize the fat oxidation, or basically overall, 5 p.m. with caffeine blew them all away. But just the same, for those reluctant or cannot use caffeine, 5 p.m. seems to be an ideal time to maximize fat oxidation. But let's proceed, and that's from the full study itself, which we'll have the links for as well. But let's get right into the study a little further as follows. This was a triple-blind, placebo-controlled, crossover experimental design. In conclusion, we're going to go to the full study because it says it best, especially in reference to certain elements like VO2 max as well. So I'm going to read a little slower here, but let us proceed. In summary, the acute ingestion of caffeine, 3 milligrams, a kilogram, to reiterate, 30 minutes prior to a graded exercise test increased MFO, maximum fat oxidation, Fat max and VO2 max in active caffeine naive men independent of the time of day. Further, the existence of diurnal variation during the day in MFO, fat max, and VO2 max was confirmed, with values for all being higher in the afternoon than in the morning. Reference back to that box plot. The present findings also support the notion that caffeine ingestion in the morning helps to increase MFO and fat max levels during exercise in the afternoon. These results support the use of caffeine as an ergogenic aid during training or competition during the morning. The combination of acute caffeine intake and exercise at moderate intensity in the afternoon seems to be the best scenario, again, the best scenario, for individuals seeking to increase the amount of fat utilized during continuous aerobic exercise. Whether high doses of caffeine induce greater effects on the whole body fat oxidation during graded exercise tests and further improves endurance performance remains to be investigated. So, at the very least, caffeine helps maximize the fat oxidation when taken with an exercise routine, aerobic particularly, at 5 p.m. is your best results. However, for individuals which are reluctant or cannot utilize caffeine, 5 p.m. workout seems to have the best benefit in reference to maximum fat oxidation, even more so than those that took caffeine in the morning. Now, in the morning, by far, caffeine basically eclipsed 
those are just to the placebo. But best time of day to work out for those that can, ironically, tends to be the time that most people tend to get off of work at about 5 p.m. Again, links to the study are there. Real easy to understand study. Three milligrams a kilogram is all laid out there. 30 minutes prior to exercise. You can't get any easier than that. And also, too, at the same time, too, it was generally an assumption in reference to the fat oxidation properties of caffeine. What this study primarily did is took that assumption and basically looked at it and found additional correlating or causative evidence in reference to basically, yes, caffeine does seem to have a strong impact in reference to maximum fat oxidation, at least in this particular study itself. Again, we're after channel signing off. Also, too, that those want to look at the data analytic aspect, what we do on every Saturday in reference to certain pandemic mitigation measures, it is there for you as well, and you are welcome as our audience is growing. But in any ways, thank you, gratitude. Look forward to see you all next time. Again, you can't do caffeine, 5 p.m. workout, ideal for maximum fat oxidation. But if you can do caffeine, 5 p.m. or so, wow, you're golden. Again, we're off to your channel signing off. Thank you. Gratitude. Look forward to you all once again sometime next week. Catch you next time. Bye.